guys, welcome back. Um, I thought today I would do something a wee bit different. Um, I thought today I would do a, a favourites video and show you all my favourite things that, I, that I've been using. Um, some of it is quite new, some of it's been my favourite for a very, very long time. Uh, but I thought I would I would show you that. These seem to be a thing on YouTube, um, or at least they used to be, and I'm a bit behind. Uh, I've, I've actually no idea where I've positioned the camera, so it's here I think, hold on. Here, right, I'm going to try and look here. Uh, so yeah, so these seem to be quite popular on YouTube and I really, really like watching them so I thought I would do one for you. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in and get started. Uh, so my very first favourite thing that I want to talk to you about today is not a thing, not a physical thing I can show you. One of my favourite people in the world uh, has started doing YouTube videos. Uh, her name is Taylor and I wanted to tell you all about her because I remember when I first came to YouTube and Diane asked you to come over and check me out. You were all so, so lovely and, and you all came and you all came and checked me out and you made me feel so loved and so supported. So I want to spread that love over to over to Taylor. Uh, I'll put her name, I'll put, a, sorry, I'll put a link to her channel down, down below. Her name is just Taylor Murray and she's only posted two videos so far. Uh, she's right now, she's just experimenting with what she wants to do with her channel. Uh, in our first video we get to see some of her artwork and she is an amazing artist, she really really is. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that you can just go over there and just spread some of the love to her, give her some words of encouragement and just, you were all so lovely to me so I just, I want to, I want to tell her to know just, just how wonderful you are. So like I said I'll put a wee link in the, the, the description below to her channel and uh, I'll put her name across the screen so, so that you can see it. Thank you. Um, okay, so on to things. Uh, the very first uh, favourites thing that I've been using so, so much is <clears throat> this here. Now I've hauled a lot, well not a lot, but I've I hauled a blanket in my, in my Boxing Day haul and I own several. And I think that this is where this idea came from. Uh, my cousin Cheryl gave me this for my Christmas and it's a big, big, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy thick thick blanket like this and it's got it's got the wee bits for your hands and it's so fluffy can, can you see that like that and it's pink and it's well it's grey and it's got pink hearts and it's all pink on the inside and it has a unicorn hood how cute is this I love this thing honestly when I come home at night I just like to cuddle up on my couch and put this around me and just sit and yeah, I know I look like an idiot, but I don't care. I love this. This is so so good. So yeah, I've been I've been using this every single day, and I will continue to use it for as long as the weather is as cold as it is, because it is freezing outside. So I'm really really loving this just now. Uh, and next thing that's in my favourites. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. I've got quite a few. Um, Okay, let's start with this. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I did that this here is my my favourite, favourite tea of all time, the Licorice and Oriental Spice. Uh, and you get it in Holland and Barrett's, it's like one ninety nine, I think. It is still my favourite, I'm still drinking it constantly. I get through boxes and boxes and boxes of this. It is just the best tea I've ever tasted in my life. So yeah, I'm loving this just now. And also these. Now I think I also, I don't know if I showed these in a previous video, uh, but again I have these a lot. You get these from Poundland and they're just sugar free, uh, I want to say Gullion, Gullion, this brand here. You get them from Poundland and as if, you, if you're a subscriber of mine you'll know I am a Slimming World member uh, and these are one sin per biscuit and they're just perfect with a wee cup of tea. I wouldn't have them with this tea, I have it with just regular Scottish tea, um, but yeah, loving these. Um, okay, so the next thing that's on my favourites here is, not the TV remote, <laughs> um, is, now these are, these are my house keys, and this here is something that Taylor, the Taylor I was telling you about, she got me this for my Christmas, now I am just horrible for losing keys. I do it all the time. I'm always late because I'm always looking for my keys and my mum gets really frustrated with me because 
whenever we're going out for the day she'll just be sitting downstairs waiting for me and I'm hunting for about 20 minutes for my keys so Taylor bought me this for my Christmas and you just whistle and it it goes off I have turned it off just now because it will it will keep going off throughout this video it does it all the time it's so sensitive I can whistle in my bedroom and if my keys are in here in the living room it will pick it up so this has came in really really handy so caught in a tripod there so thank, thank you for that Taylor loving this okay and another thing that, uh, that I've been just loving loving is another Christmas present that I got my mum got me these these are just wireless Bluetooth headset for listening to my music and they are they are Philips like that and they're really really good I've not had any issues with them loving them so much and even when my music is up full blast it's not those ones that you can hear it from the other side of the bus uh, they're good they just kind of stay in my ears instead of everyone else's that really annoys me when you're on the bus and even if somebody's got their headphones in you can hear it from like the other side of the bus no need for that like invest in a good pair of heads a good headset that you know gives a deal's peace so i'm loving these and okay uh, another thing I, I drink this a lot and i always have done ever since i first discovered it years and years ago um but i've rediscovered my love for it it's it's just mac b water now my favorite is the strawberry and lime but this one's cranberry and raspberry uh, this is free on Slimming World and it's obviously so important uh, in Slimming World, ha really hammer it home to you that you need to drink a lot of water, you need to stay hydrated. Uh, but I don't know about anybody else, but I hate drinking plain water, it's just it's so boring. Uh, so I love this because it's just absolutely full of flavour, it's still free on Slimming World and it's it's just just one of the best drinks ever. So I'm drinking a lot of that just now. Uh, okay and so another favorite of mine that i'm loving just now is try and get it in frame this warm apple and cinnamon candle by wickford and co mm, it's just it's that smell again that i describe as it smells like christmas it is spiced apple that's what it is um i had one of these and i burned it almost all the way down and by Pure coincidence, Deanne didn't know anything about it. Deanne had bought me this for my Christmas. So I'm happy, I've got another one and I'll be burning that very, very shortly, just as soon as my other one runs out, which should be in the next day or so probably. So loving this and it just makes your house, it's very, very strong. Like my mum's got a thing about smells as well. I think that's where I get it from. She came up to see me about a week or so ago and I was burning it and she just walked in my house and she goes, what oh, smells lovely in here? Oh, it smells really nice. So, my mum's the true test. If my mum can pick it up, that's that's a good smell. So, loving this. Happy to have another one of these. Okay, and another thing that I'm really loving, uh, candle-wise at the moment, is is yeah, is this. Uh, I bought this myself. This wasn't a Christmas present. It's the banana nut bread. A candle and you get it in Watt Brothers I think it's $1.99 something like that now this one obviously hasn't been burned but I have burned a couple of these and they're just so nice they're they are a sweet smell but they've got like a nuttiness which, which makes sense as banana nut bread um, and it's so so lovely it makes your house smell like a bakery uh, it's absolutely gorgeous and it does have a really good strong smell and it does like go throughout your whole house it's not one of those ones that you burn and then you can't smell it so loving absolutely loving this and um i bought two today because uh, I, I was i have used them all so i bought two of these today and i'll definitely be buying definitely be buying more because I'm, I'm loving them so that's that's in my favorites just now as well okay and okay well today you'll probably notice um that i am wearing makeup for a change uh, one of my new year's resolutions uh was to just start making a wee bit more of an effort stop going about all scruffy like a tink uh, so I've been trying to wear a wee bit more makeup uh, now it's not the best example just now because my face has been battered by the weather today the weather here in Scotland is just horrific it's raining it's windy it's just awful so my makeup's not really at its best just now but I am wearing it so my favorite thing I've been using just now is actually 
it's not what I've got on my face today, I do have something different on today, but it's actually just this. I, I think I actually might hold this um, in my Boxing Day sales haul, uh, but I've been loving this. Apart from today, I've been wearing this daily, and it's the Only Got Eyes For You Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, and it's from Primark, and it's, it's actually really, really, really good. I'm actually really loving it. You can see where I've kind of battered up the box a wee bit, and... Uh, where I've been using it. I've not I've not touched that shade yet, but these ones here get used quite frequently, so loving that at the moment. And in line with makeup, um, I've been loving this since my friend's wedding. Uh, before my friend got married, I never went near liquid eyeliner. I never touched it because I was frightened of it because I would always just like smudge up my eyes. I would look like a panda, but my friend for her wedding, she wanted us all to have like, like flicky eyes and everything like that. So I had to take the plunge and I bought I bought this one and I've been loving it since like it took a wee bit of practice on the actual wedding I actually had had Taylor do my do my eyeliner uh, but I've take, done a wee bit of practice now myself and I'm getting all right at it again um not a good example just now because it has been all smudged up but I'm getting all right at it so this is good for practice because it's actually it comes with one of these sticks and it's actually just like a really thick gel, it's not really that liquidy, so it's quite difficult to mess up. So while I'm practicing and honing my makeup skills, I'm going to continue to use this before uh, before going out and maybe experimenting with another liquid eyeliner. So really, really loving this. Again, not the best example just now because I'm all smudged up and I frankly couldn't be bothered redoing my makeup. Uh, so. Loving, loving this. Highly, highly recommend this. It's just the Maybelline Lasting Drama Up to 24 Hour Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. And that's it there. And I think I've got this in Superdrug, but you can probably get it in Boots or any other pharmacy, probably. So, yep. Yeah, loving that at the moment. Uh, just going along the makeup lines. Um, I did haul this uh, in a video before. I remember doing it. And it's the, the Maybelline color drama and this one is in the shade 370 vamped up and I showed in that video that it's actually a wee brush on the end of the tube rather than just the, the plastic tube uh, which I'm, I'm really really loving that and it's a gorgeous gorgeous shade I wore it on uh, New Year's Eve I'm not wearing it just now because I took all my lipstick off because I really needed something nourishing on my lips because they're really chapped today uh, because, because just because of the horrible weather we've had today but I'm really, really loving this. I cannot, cannot recommend this highly enough. It's just beautiful. And they have all sorts of different shades as well. So obviously if you don't like the, the dark lip look, they have lighter ones as well. So loving that. Now, something else I'm also loving, which I hauled in my Boxing Day video, is this lip coat, which I got from Primark. Now, I have to say, when you're putting it on, it is horrendous. It feels like something that Satan himself crafted in the pits of hell. It burns, it's horrible, but the burning only lasts for, for like 15, 20 seconds. And once it's on, like once the burning's gone, it does keep your lipstick in place beautifully. And I am definitely, definitely re like applying my lipstick less. So for the moment, I'm loving this, but I'm hoping in the future to find one that doesn't make me feel like my lips are on fire. Um, so yeah, loving this. Kinda. <laughs> I'm using it a lot, it is in my favourites, I do really like it. Um, now, something else that again I do use a lot and I have done for a while is Carmex. Um, I use this a lot, I think I'm on like my, my second or third tub of this. This is one of the few things, this and the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lip thing, are two of the only things that actually cure dried lips. Seriously, like I, I just absolutely love Carmex. It's so good. They also do a wee chubby one, but I like I like this one. I like to get my fingers in there. So yeah, loving loving the Carmex and it's like mentholy, so it smells really nice and tastes awful, but it smells just gorgeous. So loving that. Okay, and another favourite of mine at the moment is again, I think I might have hauled some of these in a way, 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 way earlier video. Uh, but these, I just, just love these. I can't, I can't get enough of these. I think I've bought these about 8 million times. 
they smell beautiful they're just antibacterial wipes 50 pence from wilco and they just do the job beautifully and they smell they do do loads of different fragrances but this is by far oh yeah this is by far my favorite this is the um fuji apple and apricot ones you see this packet nearly empty and i'm going to need to buy more because uh, even my backup stocks ran out at this point so loving these use these every single day without fail so loving these okay and uh, another thing that is in my favorites at the moment um, I mentioned in my last video that another one of my New Year's resolutions was going to be to um, take better care of my YouTube channel, kind of try and do different different types of videos, try and post more regularly, blah, blah, blah. So, um, Diane bought me this lovely wee, it's, it's not really coming off so well on camera, but it's like a rose gold coloured pen. It's black ink, but I'm, I'm loving this wee pen. And I went out and I bought just this wee notepad here. I think it was like 30 pence or 50 pence or something from from the works like this. And what I've been doing is I carry this everywhere I go. And as soon as a wee idea for, for a YouTube video or something pops into my head, I just write it down. Uh, so I've got loads and loads of ideas in here. I'm not going to show you them because I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them all. And I'm certainly not wanting to ruin any surprises for you. But this has been going everywhere with me and I've got millions of ideas written down in this just so I don't so I don't forget any. So loving this. Loving it. It's so cute. Look at the wee birds on it. Wee funny birds. I'm, I'm loving this. Okay. And another thing on my favourites. Now I got this years ago. Years and years and years ago. I think me and my friend Janet were on holiday in Lanzarote or something when I got it. Like years and years ago. And it's just this. It's just a wee coin purse. I do have a big beautiful Marla Monroe purse that my friend Hazel got me and that's that's my main purse I do take that everywhere but when I'm out like when I'm working or I've got a smaller bag on me um, that that's a big purse and it takes up a lot of space so like on a night out or when I'm out because when I'm out food shopping I take a wee small bag so my arms aren't full um, or when I'm on a, a 24 hour shift at work I take a wee small bag with me so my hands are still free to, to look after the person I'm looking after um, so I just take this with me, it's a wee Betty Boop and it's just a wee coin purse. I actually had it out with me today and you can see all, that's mostly just receipts at the moment. But yeah, and there's some coins at the bottom. So, and it just fits just nicely into a smaller bag and doesn't take up a whole lot of room. So I really like this, it's very, very handy to have. But it obviously doesn't hold all your cards or anything, so you do still need a bigger purse. Okay, and another favourite of mine, and that has been a favourite for for a for a few years now, is this, and it's Super Drugs. Yeah, Super Drugs. One I was looking for the symbol there, so that's Super Drugs. We symbol, and it's tea tree facial cleansing pads, and I love them, and they're quite rough, so they exfoliate your face really well, and the dirt that comes off them, like you think your face is clean, your face is not clean, and I'll prove it to you. I did my boyfriend's face yesterday. Now he washes. I promise he washes. Um, and I did. And I don't know if you can. Can you see the dirt on that? That is like that's disgusting. And like I said, I promise he, he does wash. Uh, but I did his face yesterday, and disgusting as it might be, I kept the pads because I wanted to prove just how deep this goes into your skin, and it pulls out all the dirt in your face. It just it feels so tingly and clean after it. So. I, I love these. I used to um I used to suffer really, really quite badly with acne and it really, really affected my confidence. And this is the only thing up until I took the miracle cure. I won't discuss it because um, I won't discuss prescribed medication on my channel. Um but up until I took that, this was the only thing that even remotely did made a dent in my acne. So loving this. Love these. I'll never stop loving these. I've tried other ones, like I've tried the Clearasil one and it's just not the same. Love these, and these are something. These are only like two pound or two fifty or something like that. Which the Clarissa ones are like a fiver. So not only are they far better, they are far cheaper. So love these. Hi, I cannot recommend these enough. Seriously, do it if you think your face is clean. It's not clean. Trust me, it's not clean. Okay. Uh, so the next thing, um, my, I think my aunt has decided to watch my YouTube videos because. 
I mentioned in a few of them, I need a wax melt. I don't have a wax melt anymore. Don't know what happened to my wax melt. And for Christmas, she got me a wax melt. Um, I would show you that because it is most definitely one of my favourites. But it's on at the moment. It's, it's well, no, it's doing its job. Um, but she also got me these wax melts with it. And these are by far my favourite. This is the home, this is the air pure home baking one and oh it just it smells just gorgeous like it's it smells like cookies like yeah it smells like cookies like which is which what you'd expect a home baking scent to smell like absolutely gorgeous so I've also burned a couple of them and uh, she got me another one as well which I burned a couple of but the this here is by far my favourite I'm fairly certain because I'm sure that air pure is home bargains brand i'm sure of it so i'm gonna to have to go down there and get some more of this particular one because loving this good job auntie Catherine. well done okay okay now the next thing on my favorites it uh, has a bit of a story behind it i'm aware this video is quite long so i'll try and keep it to a, a wee minimum i was out uh, about a week or so ago uh, doing my job and i was doing my job at night and my job involves a lot of walking around outside and it was pitch, pitch black. And I made a wee angry kind of rant uh, and sent it to people. Uh, I was going to make a vlog because vlogging is going to be one of the things I'm going to try and do. Uh, but I made a wee, I was going to make a vlog that included this wee clip in it. But I, I did swear quite a lot in it. So I decided against that. But anyway, I was having this angry rant that I sent to everyone about how dark it was and even the torch on my phone was not making any kind of difference. I could not see a foot in front of my face. I, it was pitch, pitch black. So my friend Fraser, he had a spare kind of mini torch and he and he gave me and he gave it to me and I really love it. Ooh. Dropped it. Ooh. I'm back. Uh, okay, and I'm really, really loving it. It's so cute and it fits nicely into my pocket or my bag. And it just turns on. And I've forgotten how to turn it on. Oh, there we go. And it's just a wee, a wee light like that. And that helps me see when I'm out in the pitch black in the middle of nowhere uh, in the middle of the night. So, loving this. Because, you know, I, I, am, I am a young woman. I, I'm, you know, I'm quite vulnerable when I'm out there alone. Uh, and he worries, so does my mum, I think she goes into a frenzy every time I have to do a, an evening shift. So, you know, every little helps. Okay, and another thing that uh, has been my favourite for years, the only lotion I will put on my body, Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I have bottles and bottles and bottles of this in my house and I don't think I've ever once actually finished a bottle. I get about halfway through, open another bottle, so I've got about six or seven half empty bottles just cutting about in my house but I use this nightly I used to do it every morning but then I found my skin was getting a bit uh, so I use it nightly now and let it soak in overnight Palmer's Cocoa Butter it smells I know for a lot of people it's too rich a smell they do have an unscented one but personally I love the smell so I love this use this every single night so loving that Okay, and another one of my favourites that I'm using is this. Now, I did haul this in my, in, I think it's my Boxing Day sales video. I did haul it at one point, I remember doing it. And it was like the eyebrow pencil, and it came with like other things as well, which I have used. But I'm loving this pencil, I'm wearing it today. You can see I actually have full eyebrows today. Um, so, yeah, I'm loving this. My last eyebrow pencil was awful. It was, it was not doing the job very well at all. Uh, so I was just looking for any kind of alternative and this is actually doing a very, very good job. So yeah, see, whole eyebrows today. So yeah, loving this. I don't go for like big HD dramatic eyebrows, uh, mainly for two reasons. One, I don't know how to do it. And two, um, my eyebrows, if you haven't noticed, are two quite drastically different shapes. So I think I would look a bit weird if I went for the full big luscious eyebrows that everyone's going for at the moment although I do really love that look so yeah this does this fills in the wee gaps okay and another one is is this and it's just hand washed but it smells 
it's so lemony. It's lemon and black pepper and I keep this in my bathroom. Um, I do have backup hand wash in case I run out, but I've never once opened it. I just keep going out and repurchasing this. It's from Wilco and I think it's like 60 pence or something like that. And it smells, it just smells gorgeous and the smell lingers on your hand for ages. And sometimes I just sit there watching TV like, yeah, so love, 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 love this. And they do loads of other ones that smell really, really beautiful as well. But this one is by far my favourite. So I keep that in the bathroom for... You know, washing your hands after going to the toilet. Okay, uh, just a couple more things uh, left to show you. Uh, this here, this is the Santa Baby Lip Scrub. Um, again, I think I hauled this in a previous video. Yeah, I think I hauled this in a previous video. And it's just, it smells, it smells like cola. And it gets all the dead skin off your lips. Um, and it's by Lush. Uh, I can't remember how much this cost. I think I mentioned it in the whole video. I usually use the After Eights one, but I'm loving this one lately. So I might, it is Santa Baby, so it'll probably not be available again till next year. But I might try some other flavours once this runs out, or I might just go back to my After Eights one, because that is my favourite. But I'm really loving this, and I use it every single morning just to get rid of all the dead skin. And sometimes I use it again at night if, in, if it needs done. So yeah, every single day. Okay, and now my job, you, you, you probably pieced the information together, I am a carer, I do, I do look after people for a living, so I am required to quite constantly sterilise my hands. Um, but I feel like when you put too much hand sanitizer on, it dries, it really dries your hands out, so I used to carry like hand lotion with me as well, and, uh, and then your hands end up smelling dead chemically for, for ages and ages and ages. So I discovered this in Aldi and I thought I'd give it a bash and I'm really, really loving it. It is strawberry, strawberry and raspberry scented and I think it was only like 50p and it's quite a big bottle and it doesn't dry out your hands because like I said, I, I, I do my hands constantly, constantly. It's just the nature of my job and, um, and it smells lovely. Your hands don't smell dead chemically. And it does actually moisturise them quite well as well. So I'm really, really loving this just now. So I'll probably go back to Aldi and stock up on this because um, it's it's really good. So that's also something else in my favourites. Um, now I'm not wearing this today, as you can see, because it's up. Uh, I, did, I did have a better quiff in earlier, but it's flattened throughout the day. Anyway, um, so I'm loving this. It's the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Beach Mat. Um, texturising salt spray and it just gives your hair kind of beachy look. Uh, I am naturally have quite curly wavy hair anyway so all this does really for me is just accentuate that and so when I come out the bath, till dry my hair, a few spritz of this on, blow it dry, boom, done and it's it's doing a really really good job. My hair is, it's not going frizzy, it's staying really wavy and it's got that messy beachy look for, for ages and ages and ages so I'm really really loving this. Um, I have in other YouTube videos seen that this isn't actually the best one. There are other ones out there which are much better. So I'm probably, once this is finished, I'm going to try other brands and see if they do a, an even better job. But so far, I'm loving this and I, I have this in my hair whenever I wear it down. Uh, obviously when I'm up it doesn't matter. But whenever I wear my hair down, get this in it. Loving it. Okay. And finally, my, favorite, uh, my, my final favourite thing to show you today is this. And it's, it's incense and it's Nag Champa and it's just a really, really lovely, it's just a clean smell and it's really, really ace at like sucking horrible smells out of the air. Like I came in from work yesterday and I just came off a 24 hour shift and so and I'd, so I'd been out of the house in total for about 28, 30 hours because I'd taken a wee wander around town before I came home and I came in and my kitchen sink had blocked. And it was just spitting up all this vile, disgusting, putrid smelling water and old food. So I have cleaned out my sink, obviously, but the smell was just lingering. So I um, so I lit one of these in the kitchen and it's just successfully sucked the smell out of the air. And I've lit a wee candle in there as well to, to give it a nice smell. But this, love this. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite incense ever, ever, ever. I, I love it. And as long as they make it and sell it, I will buy it because it's amazing, loving it. So, uh, so yeah.
that's everything in my favourites video for you today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it and please, please, please remember to go and check out Taylor. Again, I'll, I'll stick her name here and I'll leave a link in the description below. She's so, so nervous. Um, it's, you know, you remember how nervous I was at first and how nervous I still am. I can hear my, my voice kind of, and that, that, that's just the nerves. Um, she, so I just, please go show her some love and, uh, and just some words of encouragement. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, and thank you. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful new year and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.